Miss Miss Samantha Smith. So I mean, I mean, that was that was a bad one too. We should have had a female artist way long ago. Mm. Yo, oh, hold up. This dude just come waltzing in like, I'm here, man. Forget y'all. Forget what you're doing. <laughs> this dude just come in like the takeover, man. What is... Ladies and gentlemen, hold no. up. Hold up. I love the way you just, just jumped right up in here. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all don't know, we got a brother here. Jonesboro, Georgia. Uh, we actually featured one of his songs, Build My Life, on episode 89. Shout out to the prayer plug for putting us on. Uh, definitely close brothers with them. CJ, we love you. Uh, also the host of, I just seen you host an IG TV show, the glory box. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Ladies That's and gentlemen, right. we got glow in the building. Brother what's, what's good, man. What's good, what's good? Hey, Yo. we fans over here. I feel like we've been family this whole time, man. I don't know why. Like Yo, I just, that's cause we have. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you see. You should like, you know. Yo, that sweater has fire, bro. Yo, hey, say, listen. Does that I say glory? glory? Let me it see. Say glory. So, oh, no, oh look at me. Ah, I love it. Your hair claps. You know. Look at that. Yeah, pose up, brother. Man, that's fire. Oh, it says glory Yo, in a circle. Like, okay, that's fire, bro. That's facts. That it's the key fire. right there. That's dope. And, and you know, God's love over rebellious you. Right <laughs> oh, and he got the writing on the sleeve. It's, bro. It's, it's That's details. fire. It's, it's details. Make sure y'all send me y'all sizes. Oh, yeah. I was oh, just going to say, do we get the hookup right. or what? <laughs> y'all, thanks. thanks. Yo, we want the hookup. Yeah, because yeah, like my man in Boomerang, man, we got to coordinate, man. We got to <laughs> coordinate, bro. <laughs> Hey yo, uh, so for those those of you that are like, what is going on right now? My brother Glow, man, we're fans of of Glow, man. We love him. Um, I love his energy. I, lo I love like what you rap, bro. I love the way you carry nice. yourself. And uh, on, a man. couple weeks ago, we played a track from On um, Beat Music, and I started, you know, I started like uh, we had Ruslan on the show last week, and yeah. uh, we started really buckling down on CHH, really paying attention, and then you know I'm jumping in politic and trying to. You know, uh, trying to build with our people, the network. I jump into one of the the critique Fridays, and yeah. then I dip out. Come to find out later on, the same critique Friday that I jumped in and said, "What's up?" I was even in there like, "Yo, what up? What's going on?" On beat music, I guess there was a little bit of uh, a little bit of drama. Glow. Do you want to break that down for? Why are you picking on on beat music, brother? What's going? Is it that energy <laughs> drink? Is that what you showing me? What are you showing me right now? <laughs> Did he, did he not buy Yo, what's going on, Brother Glow? <laughs> Talk to that's us, man. That's what's tea. what's going on here? That's T, fam. Yo, um, that's that was tea. starting to That's T. Well, that's you know, the tea, bro. This peppermint <laughs> tea. <bro. laughs> what's going um, on, brother? Yo, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm going to keep it G, man. Um, here's, here's exactly why I had to shake, shake some things up. Uh, it's because... Personally, you know, off from off of just you know seeing how they move and stuff like that. Again, no shade. My name Glow. I ain't gonna throw shade on you. Um, <laughs> it's all love. <laughs> um, here's the problem. He said, I'm the Glow problem. by default. I'm bro. Glow. I ain't gonna throw I'm shade glow. on you. I'm Glow. I'm Glow. Okay. <laughs> you know. Go ahead, break uh, it down. Here's, here's so the, when, wait, when you say they, are you? Because on on beat music, for those that don't know, he's a host. Okay for the Critique Fridays that Rapzilla do sure. on, on YouTube, right? And IG. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so when you say they, are music, you like category, categorizing so, on beat yeah, music so with rap? Yeah, so when I say they, when, yeah, when I initially said they, I was speaking about the platform. And so okay. initially, I was, I called out Rapzilla because that's who I was speaking on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you notice in the video, I even tagged Rapzilla. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because that was the platform that I encountered the problem with, you know what I'm saying? So as it pertains to on beat music, uh, I really, I mean, I know how the game works. Like if you just a face, you just a face, you know what I'm saying? So I, I wasn't going to bring a major pressure like that by calling them out, like singling him out. I caught the platform out because you got to endorse it. It's happening on the platform, mm. which means the platform's responsible for what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because they had to endorse it. They had to set. They said they had to set their man's up like that. So anyway, okay. 
Okay, uh, so that so that clarifies that the what you were trying to address was not on beat music specifically. Exactly. It was the platform. It was the platform. So what never, now? Never was it. So, so this is what happened. Go ahead. I make I make a video because I realize one, the the promotion to the public is submit your music. We're going to critique it. That's the promotion to the public. Right. Right. So. I had my team on two occasions, only two times, uh, over like March and March and then February send send music in. We only got a response the second time. Um, so send music and then my team tells me, yo, they just, you know, an automatic email comes back that says, yo, we appreciate you sending us your music. Unfortunately, because we get so much music coming in to guarantee us to listen to your music, consider hopping on our priority list which is fifty dollars uh-huh. to get on a priority upsell okay here's the problem i have if you like it makes it look like you just want fifty dollars because you don't like from my knowledge nobody's music's being played if they're not on that priority list they only pull tracks from the priority list mm. you know what i'm saying uh-huh. so if you're only pulling tracks from the priority list and there's no need to say send your music as it and present it like it's just a free thing that we offer into the culture. You know what I'm saying? If you know you only p- like playing from the p- uh, priority list. So here's here was my here's my biggest issue. That was my biggest issue saying like, yo, if it costs fifty dollars to get on the p- on the list that you only p- pull from. Just say it costs fifty dollars. Mm. You know, like straight out the gate. Because my biggest issue was, what about that sixteen-year-old kid who loves God, who's dope, and he's in it? And because of the numbers on the on your platform, hundred thousand people, to them you are like legit. You you are a high-level platform. So you're like, I just want to be heard by a high-level platform. Look at them; they got a hundred thousand followers. Let me send my music in hopes for a chance to be heard. Right. But then they get hit with the, yo, we get a lot of music. If you really want to be heard, guaranteed, pay us $50. It feels, we'll, it feels sort of like a funnel and, and an upsell and uh, and right. trap them at the upsell when you're just saying, you don't play the game, just tell us it costs 50 bucks. That's what you're saying. Just tell us the cost. You know what I'm saying? Like, help people prepare to play a game. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the biggest, so, so another issue of mine, and so I called that out. And if you notice, I called out the platform, but specifically I was speaking to the ones that are that are on this side that mm. don't know. So I'm like, listen, you can spend fifty dollars wiser than than that. Like, like this is understand what's going on over here, so I can put you on game. I'm just trying to put you on game. This is what's happening over here. And here's the thing. I'm a Christian hip hop artist. I'm a gospel hip hop artist. Mm. I, I do this for like the glory of God. What I think they failed to realize is I'm not like, I didn't come up with, I don't know their version of the Christian hip hop industry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm from Clayton County, Georgia, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> from Riverdale to Jonesboro. I'm like, I'm can't, I'm really like go ahead. one of them ones. You yeah, go ahead, saying? brother. Like, I I, I hear you. I'm listening like, to you. I'm a real. I'm a real. Yeah, yeah. yeah you ain't so, trying to play games. I hear you. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm not. Games, you don't bro. come from where they play games. You get right to I it. Don't. Straight I to don't, it. Man. Like, I got you. That's, that's what I realized. So for me, I grew. I grew up in the culture of you better have credentials if you if you talking like this. Like you, if you gonna play this type of game, you gotta have the credentials to play. So what also kind of put me over was I, I, I understand the Christian hip hop world is a big world. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be so Hey, hey the more the, the more we keep building this way, we're gonna be tightening this thing up, man. You know what I mean? And like hey, we need we need that. We need we need we need <laughs> unity, we need order, Yo, we bro, need structure, man. You know? I, I, I have a question. So well, talk how, to me. How, how did you know like how did you arrive to the conclusion that they were not absolutely not pulling from anything but the priority list. I honestly I'm gonna I'm keep it G. I didn't I didn't research too deep into it. It was just off the hunch of why is why am I being told I'm guaranteed to be hurt? Really yeah. it was from that guarantee word. Like 
once I saw in that in that second line, yes, yeah, is a guarantee <laughs> attached to a price. Okay, you right, got it. Attached to the price, like the guarantees mm. attached to the price. Like it wasn't a we pull one from just our uh, just random. Then we pull one from our priorities. Like yo, the guarantee it's, it's, is it's, attached um, to the price. Yeah, you know it, what I'm saying? it's pretty much that saying pretty you much, got. And pr- and not only that, but pretty much any person that they tell that to, they're going to pay the $50. So that means that they, they are if pulling they got from it. If they got it. If they got that, f- yeah. You know, facts. So my heart be for the ones that, you know, I grew, you know what I'm saying? I grow with people who don't have it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it will get mad at you for fronting like you're giving me a shot that costs something that you didn't tell me it cost. Mm. Now I done showed up. How does that look? I just sent you my exclusive record. That I spent time and, and you know what I'm saying, like this going on the album that ain't even now. So now you got an email full of people's records yeah. that just sitting there. Yeah. But they're hoping that, and what I realized it was this. It's really like just in all due respect, it really is really not on beat music who they who people send their music in for because he's so known. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that the platform is so known. Mm. And that's based on the followers. You know what I'm saying? If Diddy get on his Instagram and say, yo, somebody send me that music, I'm going to listen to it. Based on, like, this is where the credential talk came in, because I know that riled him up a lot, too. Like, a lot of people got tight. Like, <laughs> for me... <laughs> you know but you saying? got... But you got... Okay, for we'll me, talk about it. Go ahead. You know, for me, you got to... <laughs> and I don't, I'm not backing nobody accomplishments at all because your accomplishments are your accomplishments. I get it, <laughs> but I feel like when you when it comes out to critiquing creativity, is it's creativity is such such a relative term. You yeah. got to think about it. Music in Atlanta may not translate as well in Memphis, and music in Memphis may not translate well in Atlanta. So let me ask but you does something. That mean, let me ask mm-hmm. you something, brother. So how do we reconcile? Because I know that. Um, on beat music, actually, you you did an apology video for yeah. a certain part, yeah. right? You apologize for a certain part. You That's um, facts. I guess you got a little bit too much uh in the flesh, or what? what <laughs> <No> <laughs> my, the the true colors came out a little bit. What? Well, but okay, so you apologize. You apologize for that end, but you you had facts. points that you stuck by. You had issues that you are standing by because you feel that uh it, things need to be adjusted in a way that shows. Uh, fairness and not this partiality kind of system. So how do we, moving forward, like how, how can we reconcile the situation between uh, yourself or artists like yourselves who feel that way? Because it's funny because we started the show off of uh, airing out our grievances and one of them was Rapzilla. So that was like wow, episode yeah. like two or something. Wow. <laughs> We're on 93 90, right now. 89. <laughs> yeah, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. <laughs> Yo, that was like, that was a while back. But um, while back. so how do you, how do we fix yeah. the issue, man, moving forward? Because in a way, we're all family mm-hmm. from the same, Back. you know, in the same genre. We're, we're one way or another mm-hmm. connected through artists, producers, people behind the scenes. And, yeah. it, you know, you got people that are praying with brothers, calling them brothers, all from similar camps, same camps. And now there's some family feud going on in the camps. So how do you, right. how do we reconcile and move forward? Man, I think it's, I think it's as simple as, you know, we we can have a conversation, you know, like whether that be public or not. I, I saw he mentioned under the comments like, yo, you can hit me up if you want to talk. And I tried to. And I guess the, the DMs are blocked because every time I try to message uh, him, you still, still block. OK, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll put the like, word out. Hey, yo, um, B, uh, uh, our brother, brother Glow wants, wants to talk me. to you, man. Uh, he's right. he's blocked talk. right now. Please unblock them. Let Glow talk, man. Let's reconcile. It'll be a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thing. I, I, I'll say this. I could imagine that after Jesus came into the temple and turned over tables, everybody was ready to have a real conversation after that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes, like Jesus even said, he said it in Luke, he said it in a few, few scriptures, like, I didn't, don't assume I came for peace. You know, because some things got to be torn down before you can build up the right things. The wrong things have to be torn. Down. What are you trying to say, Glow? There's no peace. What are you? What, no, <laughs> what's going on here? The art of war? What's, it's, no, no, it's, it's, what's happening? It's, it's, I thought we were quoting the I'm, Bible. I'm, what's, I'm, <laughs> hey, look, he was quoting the art of war. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to say it like this. It's always love. But there's still a part of love that checks and balances, accountability. Yeah, checks and balances. I got you. Like your mama loved you, but she had to whip you when you got out of line. Yeah, checks you know and balances. So, yeah. so I. But I, it's I, funny I because like, people always say Jesus of peace and peace and loving and that, <laughs> but they always forget about the part where he went into the church and flipped tables and was whipping people. You know what I'm you saying? Feel like he, they, they always forget about that. I'm like, what about when he took Jesus a was a gangster, bro. People? In fact, yeah, man, yeah. God was a gangster, dog. Any anybody who could flood the earth, yeah, he was a, he he said, he was a, he mad. He's a G. That's some gangster stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know some gang- <laughs> and, yo, but no, nah, it's 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 real love, bro. Nah, it's um, love, man. Just, uh, part of the reason why we want you to come on is is to have the opportunity to be heard, man, and hear your side. And of course, yo, all love to on beat music. We love you too, bro. Um. I facts, love building with facts. you. I want to continue to build with you, man. We're fans over here of, of everybody who's putting in some kind of work for the genre. It's not going to be a perfect facts. thing, man. We're trying to emulate the perfect one. So let's keep each other lifted. And checks and balances are a necessary thing, in my opinion. So I don't think that's a bad thing at all. And I think and it's go, good that press. we're able to chop it up, you know, openly and publicly, you know. Not, not, too, long, not too long ago, Mario and I ruffled a few feathers. So we know exactly <laughs> Ah, uh, people right. now, <laughs> now look at you. Now look at you. The bond is the bond. I think people forget. It says iron sharpens iron. They Facts. forget there's it. Ha- it got to bump up to it. You know, and yeah. sharpen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know. So I think you know we have to we have to be that way. And I, Amen. I, my biggest thing is is one like, I don't I don't never want. Um, I mean, it already has happened, but I feel like God is he's after his throne again, you know, when it comes down to, you know, things that you say that's for him, we going to check it. You know what I'm saying? Is that really for him now? Mm. Like, let's not, in, and that's what I think. needs to be tested by fire, like, no, brother. That's, that's tested by fire. It, it is what it, it is. Yeah. It. But also too, though, to the moral of this is that mm-hmm. nowadays it seems like people don't like, they try their very best to avoid confronting people. Especially if they're wrong. Like, if they're wrong, they're wrong. And if you got to confront someone, I mean, I would think it's the most loving thing that -hmm. if my brother is in the wrong frame of mind or in sin or behaving in a manner that is not acceptable to God, that another brother would be like, yo, bro, I don't agree with how you're acting. And I don't think the word of God would agree either. You know what I'm saying? And if and if these practices, and I'm not accusing because I don't know everything, and if these practices are like the way they're happening, that they're being dishonest or or not being forthcoming with all the information, and they're like, you know, if you pay a little of this, you get this special attention, when in reality, you could have gotten that regardless, right from jump if you just paid, that is dishonest. And if that's happening, then they should be confronted. Anybody doing something shady should be confronted. Mm, and nowadays, yeah. everything is about being accepted. They just want acceptance at all means necessary. Like, oh, mm. you decided you want to be a dog? All right, I guess we'll have to accept that. You know, I identify <laughs> as this, I identify as that. All right, cool, I guess we'll accept that. You know, I, I, why is it that we don't accept when somebody decides to be a drug dealer? Or they want to be a drug addict? How come we don't accept that? We always like, nah, man, don't do that. Don't, you know, it's not good for you. I think that across the board, regardless of the situation, if you truly love someone, you shouldn't be afraid to confront. So I'm glad that you stood up Facts. and you sure. spoke what you Facts, said. Man. And I'm also glad that you recognized that you were wrong and you apologized too. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. com- on both sides. Confrontation right. sometimes ain't pretty. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and you got to recognize when you're wrong and you did. So I, I think the whole situation needed to happen. Yeah. And even with me and Mario, a lot of the situation where we ruffle feathers, nothing but good came out of it. Yeah. Amen. If we didn't say anything, then things would have just continued and we would still be we probably wouldn't even be today. Right, right. 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 Or hey, that. hey brother, I don't wanna I don't wanna rush it on. I wanna have a like a, a serious interview with you, man. I mean, so, this was kinda so. like it was in the lane. I seen it, I, I saw what was in. going on. And I was like, yo, I need to I need to chop it up with my man Glow, bro. Like this needs to happen now. <laughs> so I'm glad that you jumped in. We're gonna jump into a track actually uh from my man's glow. 
And this is ranks off of COVID Files EP. It just released a week ago, right, brother? Yes, sir. All right, brother. Yes, is, is there anything else you want to tell the people? Any links or any upcoming music? Or is this the most recent one for oh, 2020? That's what the do you most got going recent on? One, but, but, but we working. I, I'm in here now. So hey, you know, like, hey, class. Sorry, that's what's up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dope. Yes, sir. All right, my brother, man. It was an honor. We love you. Honor. We're fans of you over yeah. here, brother. You got us. Yo, We're family. Before, before you go, I'm a large. I'm a text. <laughs> hey, say no more. We'll send no, it. Please. We'll send <laughs> the info. No, no facts. Yeah, no, for real. We'll send it <laughs> tonight, <laughs> brother. You'll get it tonight. <laughs> All right, brother. Overnight His ranks glow. Facts. Yes, sir. I'm Later, send you brother. One of these too, bro. <laughs> facts. Hey, I'm with it. All right, brother. Grace and peace. All right, man. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love you too, bro. Take yes, care. Father, I give it to you. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Yeah, hey. the struggle ain't nothing for none of my people. We did it and got it up out the deep. We remain solid no matter how many times they tried to break the ground on us. I put my heart on the line for all my people. I put my life on the line for the king. In the goodness of God, I'ma see it in this lifetime. Ain't no God like mine. So right now, at your feet, I bow down. Everything I got, you gave me. I'm so glad you saved me. Cause I really could've went a different way. Tell me, what would I be without your grace? I just woke up to some brand new grace and mercy. Yeah. You ain't tryna hurt me. Nah. You just wanna love me. Yeah. So I'ma let you love you. Been through the struggle, we got it out of us Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for his love Those led by the Spirit are the sons of God And the devil just mad cause she ain't one of us Do not come around here with that rah-rah Got the gang with me and they keep that fire-fire When it comes to them names, we got the most high We don't rely on no sage to give us God vibes Ain't no crystals replacing the rock of our salvation Lot of people believe it, they just too scared to say I didn't come up with y'all, look I'm really a gangster All you idols gon' fall, we gon' destroy the matrix Ain't up for debate, we ain't bout to make negotiations I ain't going back and forth with no explanations All I know is I was dead and needed salvation He called my name and I ran out the grave, yeah The struggle ain't nothing for none of my people we did it and got it about the deep. We remain solid no matter how many times they tried to break the ground on. Yeah. I put my heart on the line for all my people. I put my life on the line for the king. For the king. In the goodness of God, I'ma see it in this lifetime. Ain't no God like mine. So right now, at your feet, I bow down. Everything I got, you gave me. I'm so glad you saved me. Cause I really could've went a different way. Tell me what would I be without your grace? I just woke up to some brand new grace and mercy. Yeah. You ain't tryna hurt me. Nah. You just wanna love me. Yeah. So I'ma let you love me. Yeah.